What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Topps Gilded Collection Baseball just sold out. This is a three-box break. Random Teams number one. Now, again, guys, number one sold out so fast. Number two was uploaded already, so I had to scribble over it. But this is break number one, guys. Again, coming from a fresh case. All teams in. Everybody gets a random team in the MLB. One gold frame auto, one uh, gold etch chrome autograph per box, guys. Such some hot stuff here, guys. You know, sold out so fast. Had to buy some more. Price has gone up, but people are still loving it, guys. And uh, it is a really, really fun product to rip. So here's the dice roll. Here's the customer names. Jeremy Port, down to Joe. There's the teams. Let's roll it. It is a six and a three, nine times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, three, nine. Jared, down to Rob. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times, nine. Cubs out of the Braves. I don't know if that's supposed to be sexual or not, Joe Pizzle. <laughs> Alright, nine times, nine times, nine times. Jared with the Cubs, EA with the Nationals, Joe with the uh, Texas Rangers, Austin with the Diamondbacks, Carlos with the Angels, <laughs> Joe with the Mets and Marlins, Jared with the A's, Rob with the uh, <laughs> Twins and Tigers, Jeremy Port with the Guardians, Jared with the Reds, Eric with the Dodgers, Jeremy Port with the Orioles, EA with the Cardinals, uh, Rob with the Rays, Jared with the White Sox and Rockies, Charles with the Astros, John with the Mar uh, Mariners, sorry. Jared with the Red Sox, Carlos with the Brewers. Um, Jared with the Blue Jays, Anthony with the Phillies. Joe with the Pirates. Jared with the Royals. Charles with the Yankees. Anthony with the Padres. Joe with the Giants. And Rob with the Braves. I know. I was I was reading, though, Pizzo. Uh, the owner can't make any official moves until he gets, like, sworn in, I guess, or something like that, until this weekend or something, or next week. Who are you guys going to give up, though, for, for, for Kyrie, though? And you'd have to sign him to a long-term deal, too. Or at least a four-year max. That's the one thing. I think Kyrie's kind of, the Kyrie situation is kind of interesting because he wanted, a long, he wanted to be maxed out, right? Four years maxed out. And I don't think the Nets were willing to give it to him. This season, they wanted to give it to him next season. So, or at the end of this offseason, sorry, not earlier this year. So, I think that's where it kind of started. I think now, maybe he just realized they're not going to go anywhere. And he's he's kind of giving a little courtesy note to, to the Nets. Like, hey, if you don't want to trade me, that's fine. But I'm, I'm not re-signing with you guys this offseason. So, obviously, the Nets now have to trade him, right, to get something for him. But I think most teams are not going to want to take him unless they know that he's committed to them for an extension, you know? Because, like, yeah, you can rent him for a few months, but, I mean, you're going to have to give up a boatload for him because he's still a star, right? He's a superstar. So I just think the teams that are going to be interested are going to also want him to say, hey, if we trade for you, are you willing to stay with us and sign a contract extension? So it's kind of interesting how it's going to work out. Now the Nets can just let it play out and not trade him, but they're going to get nothing for him. So I feel like they're going to have to bite at some deal at some point. So it's kind of interesting. I, I heard I heard the Suns. I heard, obviously, the Lakers. I heard still always involved. I even heard the Clippers, which would be an interesting one. And then Dallas. Dallas was one of them with the Miami Heat. So it was like those five. It's like Lakers, LA, uh, Clippers, Miami, Dallas, and um, uh, Phoenix. So it's interesting to see who's going to give up what. So, but uh, yeah, his, his, his contract thing is a little interesting though because most teams, like I said, are not going to trade for him unless they know he's going to sign with them long term. So, and yeah, the one thing is that he's kind of screwed over <laughs> almost every organization he's been to, right? I mean, leaves Cleveland, goes to Boston, says he's going to be there long term, decides to not be there. I don't know. It's just, uh, 
it's just going to be interesting how that plays out. And of course, I know you don't want him to go to Dallas, but it kind of makes sense. I mean, you, you, you pair up a Kyrie with a Luka, it's pretty dangerous. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> You're a truck right now? I don't trust this guy at all. It's true. I mean, it's a player's league, right? If a player's not happy, he's going to voice it out, and he's going to most likely get what they want for the most part. You know, the, we all know the players that run the NBA. But see, this is where, like, Kyrie kind of has the advantage here for over the Nets because, you know, if, he's basically letting him know, like, if you guys don't want to trade me, that's fine, but I'm, I'm not resigning here. So it kind of forces the Nets to kind of go out there and actually trade him this time. And now it's going to impact Kevin Durant. So if you're the Nets, man, it is not looking good at all because if you don't get back nearly enough for Kyrie and it keeps KD happy... <laughs> when KD requests that trade, he's, you're gonna have to take it. You're gonna have to do it. You know, I, I think he signed up there for what another three, four years, but I think he has an opt out like in two. So I don't know. It's interesting. Brooklyn is just in shambles now. All right, guys. So again, it's a huge case again. Um, I'm gonna open it up right here. And again, these are three box breaks, so let's kind of keep them the way it should be. So. There's three boxes here. Or you know what? This is what, we, this is what we'll do. At least for the first one. I think this might be the easiest thing to do. So, you guys can see, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's three boxes in each one. If I roll a one, we're going to go with that box. There's three boxes there. That's a two, three, four, five, six. And then from the rest here on out, we'll just grab randomly. Just to make it easier, because just these boxes are way too big. So let's do that really quick. Instead of having to pull them all out and put them on the table. Ugh. Doing that stupid little glitch again. I was having trouble with this mouse earlier again. I don't know why it's been doing that lately. There it is. Here we go. It's a six. So, like I was saying, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to grab the three boxes here. Just to show you guys, I grabbed the right one right there. Now it's empty right there. All right, guys, here we go. First box. I remember, everything's numbered, so everything will be top-loaded. Reed Detmers, that's 299. We got a Bryce Harper. We have Kevin Smith. 
These are usually out of 10 or 25, and this one's out of 10. And then behind uh, Harper is a Matt Brash for the Mariners, number to 50. And let me uh, show you guys the sheet one more time. I totally forgot to reshow it again. <laughs> so there's everybody in the breaks. And a Johnny Bench to 10. Cincinnati Reds, Jared with that one. All right. First box done. Looks like it has like extra cards, or at least it feels like it. I did see a Julio Super, yeah. Not the Redemption, though, right? The the, the main card. Shane Bass. The Beebs. Corbin Burns. And a Bryce Harper to ten. Carlos Alvarez. My uh, one of my one of my customers on uh, Instagram, uh, he pulled the Torkelson Super Fractor Redemption. Shane Bass, number to fifty. We got Raleigh Fingers. That's Joe's nemesis right there. 99 Oakland going to Jared All right, one more guys and again, these are only three box breaks Like I said these boxes are super pricey now, but of course still super hot Next one in the store is already more than halfway through again. Yeah, it's at 12 left <laughs> So we'll probably be running these back until we sell out of the case that we have Alright, Ernie Clement. Mackenzie Gore to 199. Ooh, Freddie Freeman. That's pretty nice. And a Jose Altuve auto. Freddie Freeman and Altuve. That's pretty nice. Now, this is still Braves Edition going to Big Dog Rob to 75. And then you got the Altuve right here for the Astros going to Charles to 50. And then little hobby buys, little mini diamonds, number to 50. All right. Last hit of the break. Dave Winfield, Padres edition to 80. Padres is Anthony. There you go. Just like that, guys. Three boxes in the books. Again, another three box break is on the website. You guys want to check it out. Pretty nice one here. We had an extra box with an extra auto. So, pretty solid stuff here, guys. Appreciate everybody. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.